Good day engineers Para sa video natin na to Isang i-discuss natin will be Yung Analysis nung uh, Beam na NAT beam geometry na So Ito yung part na kung saan Yung area ng concrete natin Is greater than The area of the flange Therefore Yung depth of compression block natin is Greater than the thickness of the slab or the height of the flange. So, from this condition, uh, alam natin na papasok na siya dun sa T-beam geometry. And, since nandun siya sa T-beam geometry, meron tayong iba't ibang ways or methods para isolve yung ganong problem. So, on this video, we will discuss yung method 1. So, for our method number 1, uh, ang pinagkaiba lang naman nung tatlong methods is yung pagkakahati-hati nila and yung isa ginamitan lang natin ng centroidal, uh, centroid na provision or varignon's theorem lang. So, itong first method natin is hinati natin yung uh, compression block sa dalawa. So, kinuha natin so, from this diagram, uh, this is the first diagram, kinuha natin yung flange area sa taas. Then, for our second diagram, kinuha natin yung web area. So, hinati natin sa dalawang diagram, parang yung ginawa natin sa doubly reinforced. But for this one, since ang hinati natin dito is yung compression block. Unlike dun sa... Uh, doubly reinforced ang hinati natin is yung steels so or yung dalawang parts ng compression which is yung uh, compression steel and yung compression block so dito syempre uh, ang kinuha natin or since hinati natin sila sa dalawa yung steel area natin is mahati din sa dalawa so meron tayong ASF which stands for the uh, steel area for the flange section. So, ASF, uh, steel area ng uh, flange section, or steel area siya ng second diagram. Tapos, yung second is ASW, which is yung steel area for the web section. So, yan ngayon yung dalawang pinaghati nating stress diagram. And, alam natin na itong stress diagram na to is will produce a nominal moment. So, ibig sabihin, yung bawat isang diagram since MN1, pag in natin yan sa MN2, so, magpo-produce siya ng total moment na nominal moment. So, dito sa diagram na to pwede didin natin siyang isolve in two ways. Yung isa nga lang medyo mahaba. So, focus tayo on the first diagram. So, ito yung medyo mahabang part ng uh, netong method na to. So, pwede natin kunin yung first diagram and we can equate its forces C1 and T sub F. So, from first diagram or for our first diagram so dito papasok yung C1 is equal to TF so yung C1 natin syempre nandun pa rin yung stress na 0.85 of F prime C times yung area which is BEH that is equal to ASF times FY. So, we assume steel yields pa rin yung tension steel natin. Then, ang makukuha natin dito sa first diagram is yung ASF which is equal to 0.85 F prime C 
BEH divided by FY. So, ngayon, since meron ka ng ASF, and ang given, kada analysis natin is yung AS. So, alam natin na ang AS dyan is equal to ASF plus ASW. So, mapapalabas ngayon natin yung ASW coming from this equation kasi nga, given tayo ng AS at nakuha na natin si ASF. So, that means it will be ASW is equal to AS minus ASF. So, yan na ngayon yung magiging steel area ng web natin. And kapag nakuha na natin yung steel area ng web natin, pwede na tayong dumako dun sa second diagram which will uh, correspond to C2 and TW. So, dito natin kukunin ngayon or makukuha yung value ni A. So, for our second diagram, syempre dito papasok yung uh, equilibrium equation na C2 is equal to TW. So, sa C2 natin, uh, nandyan yung, ito kasi this is A minus H, na, kasi nga, ang A natin is yung taas na to, so, minusan na natin siya nung thickness ng slab, para maging, ito na yung height niya, and itong block na to has a base of B sub W. So, we have still 0.85 F'C, and ang area, for that block will be BW times A minus H and that is equal to ASW FY now from this given kunin natin si A so that will be may iwan yung A minus H then we have ASW FY over 0.85 F prime C BW then, arranging, again the term, itatranspose natin yung H papunta dito sa kabilang side. So, we could have A is equal to ASW FY over 0.85 ng F prime C BW plus H. So, ito na ngayon yung magiging equation natin ng A. And, syempre, pupunta pa rin tayo dun sa part ng pag-check nung steel stress. So, same value, kukuha tayo ng C. So, CC, makukuha pa rin natin from the provision that A is equal to beta 1C. And arranging the term, we could have A, uh, C is equal to A over beta 1. And proceed in getting the steel stress. Tapos, Uh, checking kung tama yung assumption that steels are yielding. Pag hindi, balik tayo dun sa umpisa and we will uh, change this Fy and etong Fy na to into the equation of Fs. So that will be yung medyo mahabang method for this uh, for this diagram. So kung gusto naman natin na medyo umikse, So, ngayon dao tayo dun sa uh, medyo maiksing method. So, dito, pwede nating gawin na pagsamahin sa isang equilibrium equation yung dalawang diagrams. So, it can be the same as yung sa doble reinforce. So, we have here C1 plus C2 is equal to T. So, dyan na ngayon, papasok yung C1 plus C2 is equal to T. Then, automatically, si C1 natin dyan is, so zoom in natin, that is 0.85, F prime C, BEH, plus, yung C2 natin from our second diagram, that is 0.85, F prime C, BW, times A, minus H, is equal to ASFY. So, AS na lang siya dito, kasi nga, we are, or we have T, which is T sub F plus T sub W. Then, uh, simplifying again, so ito, itatranspose natin papunta sa kabila. 
So, magiging negative yan. So, that will be 0.85 F' prime C BW times A minus H is equal to ASFY minus 0.85 F' prime C PEH. Then, divide both sides by 0.85 F' prime C BW. So, we have A minus H is equal to ASFY minus 0.85 F prime C B E H over 0.85 F prime C B W then transposing yung H dun sa kabilang side so we could have A is equal to ASFY minus 0.85 F prime C B E H over 0.85 F prime C B, W, plus H. Ito na ngayon yung equation natin na pinag-isa lang natin yung compression side. So, unlike this one, dumadaan pa tayo sa madaming process and along the way, nagkakaroon kasi tayo ng rounding off ng number. So, probably yung answer ng A nito at at answer ng A nito will be different in terms of the last two decimal or uh, the last decimal place. So, yun yung magiging pinakaiba lang nung dalawang uh, methods for this diagram. So, syempre dako tayo dun sa part ng uh, analysis natin on the moment or the nominal moment. So, syempre, yung first nominal moment natin. So, kunin na lang natin yung diagram dito sa baba. So, para dun sa first nominal moment natin, syempre, manggagaling siya dun sa first diagram, which is ito. And, alam natin na it will be uh, or it will have a couple force. So, yung couple force na yun is magkakaroon ng moment arm or the distance uh, distance nilang dalawa from each other. So, that is D minus H over 2. So, D kasi from here up to here, that is D. Tapos, syempre, ang centroid nitong block na to is H over 2 kasi ang height niya is H. So, we have to subtract yung nasa ibabaw na H over 2 para maging moment arm nilang dalawa. So, from the first diagram, so, para dun sa first nominal moment, so, that will be moment arm is equal to D minus h over 2 then for our first nominal moment so okay lang kung ang first nominal moment mo is mangga kung gumamit ka nung first method okay lang na ang moment mo is manggaling sa tension side pero kung ang ginamit mo is yung mas mabilis na way na pinag-isa mo yung uh, mga equations is much better na kunin mo on the compression side so pwede natin gawin that C times D minus H over 2. Kung alin yung magiging uh, uh, magiging mas mabuting gamitin nyo or mas mapapadali kayo, yun na yung uh, gamitin yung equation. So, dito pwedeng mas mapadali tayo on the compression side. So, we could have the first nominal moment as 0 0.85 F prime C B E H times D minus H over 2. So, yun na yun yung first nominal moment natin. Our second nominal moment will come from the second stress diagram. Sa second stress diagram natin, kailangan natin ng moment arm between C2 and the T sub W. So, paano natin makukuha yun? So, makukuha natin yun since eto is A minus H. Then, yung moment arm niya, 
will be hindi naman pwede na A minus H over to lang. So syempre nanggaling yan sa ibabaw sa taas. So may D ka dun. Then D will be deducted with H which is etong H na to and ididedduct natin yung kalahati ng A minus H. So we could have a moment arm equation for the second stress diagram. So sa moment arm niya is equal to d minus yung height or yung thickness ng slab minus so yung kalahati ng height natin ng compression block a minus h over 2. So we simplify this one. So we have d minus h minus so ito magiging a over 2 tapos yung isa negative times negative will be positive h over 2. And as you can see, pwede natin siyang simplify into so the moment arm equation which is equal to d so negative h plus h over 2 will be negative h over 2 minus a over 2. And we could have an equation d minus a plus h over 2. So yun yung possible na equation natin for or siya na mismo yung equation natin for our moment arm. And for our second nominal moment now, syempre much better pa rin kung kukunin natin siya on our compression side kung ito yung equation na magpapadali sa inyo. Pero kung uh, okay lang din sa uh, okay lang din na kunin niyo siya on the tension side basta you have the value of ASW and you have proven the value that the steels are yielding. So that will be MN2 is equal to 0.85 or that is C2 times D minus A plus H over 2. So your MN2 now will be equivalent to a value 0.85 F prime C B W times A minus H times yung D minus A plus H over 2. So, yan ngayon yung second nominal moment natin. And simplifying uh, this one, we could have yung actual nominal moment natin or yung total nominal moment natin by adding the two nominal moments. So, MN1 plus MN2. So, we could have an equation for the total nominal moment as 0.85 F prime C B E H times D minus H over 2 plus 0.85 F prime C B W times A minus H times D minus A plus H over so, ito na ngayon yung nominal moment natin. And since this is still nominal, so we have to uh, multiply this one by the, redu the reduction factor to make this one an ultimate moment. So, that will be all for uh, the method one on analyzing a beam with irregular shape or having a T-beam geometry. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.